Someone sent me a message, say, I'm busy. Just teach us how to push and start. Yeah, you push the car, manual car. Assuming you are using a manual car and you're having a battery problem. And where you are, you can't find a battery to buy or battery to jump. The good news is that with manual cars, you can push and start the car. And that is what we are going to teach today. Forget about everything. You understand? Forget about everything. So, without wasting your time, let's get into it. Okay, fine. So, as soon as you get inside the car, Number one, find where you place your key. You just insert your key. Number two, put on your seatbelt because we are teaching how to drive. You understand? How to drive, tricks and very good. Doing it this way. This is it. I haven't sparked this car since morning. So when you open the ignition like this, you wait for some of the light to go off. So this side is gone off. Yeah, when I own it, you will see. Just check it. This one is the heat sensor. So when the car gets overheating, that light will come up. Anything that is not working will come up. That is the battery sign. If the alternator is not working, the sign will be on. Tell, tell, tell. This one, as soon as you start the car, it will go off. The airbag is not working, so the light is on. And this one is the handbrake. You understand? This one is the handbrake, and this one is the engine light. Good. So, after starting the car, this side, this side, we have our RPM. RPM, you have it here. And as soon as we start the car, it will go over that one, getting to this side. So you wait for the car to, I mean, settle before you start the car. All right, let's do it. Now start the car, you see, it passes the one, so it will come back to one, pe -pe -pe, or sometimes below one, because now the ignition is higher. Now you see that it has dropped. Okay. It has dropped. So now everything is okay. I told you that when you start the car, the battery light will go off and the battery light is off. This is the handbrake. This is the handbrake. So as soon as I place the handbrake down, like this, the handbrake light also goes off. When you bring it, it's on, off, on, off. Okay, now everyone has get to know that I've started the car. Okay, fine. Now, let me up the car. I've off it. Teaching how to push and start. This one is for the advance. If you are a learner, you may have, I mean, some difficulty. So this one is some of the advance. Many people know how to drive, but do not know how to do this. Okay, so in this case, for diesel cars, you just use second gear. So you just shift your gear to second gear. But for petrol cars, it's better to you use your first gear. You understand? You put it at the first gear. Then you own the key because the car is not starting. So you just own the key. Okay, after owning the key, this is how it goes. You just press on the crotch like this. Then you push the car. Okay, into your car. As soon as you release your leg from the crotch, the car will start. Mm -hmm. Now it's in motion. You release your leg like it. The car has starts. Yeah. The car has starts. You understand? So when you put it on first gear and there is motion, all that you need to do is to release your leg. The car will start automatically. Then you control it with the accelerator and the brake. That is all. Thank you very much.